Welcome back, everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be addressing some concerns about mirror shines. I've actually been getting a lot of emails about how I keep uh, or get my mirror shines so shiny. So I'm going to tell you the uh, one thing that's helped me the most because there are a lot of tick tips and tricks to get your mirror shine really, really glossy. As many of you know, I went to visit Kirby Allison at the Hangar Project uh, this weekend, and I had a really great time. We're going to have some videos up on his channel very soon, and you'll see, uh, well, it's kind of an unofficial face reveal, so if you've wanted to know what I look like, you can uh, watch those videos. I'll let everyone know when those are up. Uh, Kirby was really gracious, and uh, we had such a, such a fun time recording videos. Uh, I'd never met him before. Um, so it was the first time I, I've been able to meet him face to face. He actually gave me that 100% uh, uh, what was it, Mongolian yak hair brush that I just showed, and it's really soft and, and awesome for for shining shoes. Um, so I think the one thing that really helps to get your mirror shine really glossy is to wait. Now I know that may sound weird, but um, in one sitting, there's only so much you can do with uh, with your shoes. So you can mirror gloss your shoes really really well. But at some point, they won't get any shinier in one sitting. At least that's what I found. Maybe you've had better luck, but I've shined for an hour or two and then found that the shoe will not get any shinier. So what I do is I stop, put the shoe down, and uh, I have to wait about a day or two and then come back to shine and get that mirror shine even glossier and even brighter and more reflective. So I know that may not seem like a lot, but it's the one thing that's helped me achieve higher shines. So this pair I showed off in our previous video where I talked about soul savers, and I mirror shined the shoes then, but I wanted them to be even glossier. So I waited uh, two, two days, and then I'm back to shining them today. Um, and I'm seeing that the shoes are going to be even brighter and glossier. Another thing I found is using your own breath, as you've seen in this video. I get close to the toe cap and I use my own hot breath to add uh, uniform moisture and then I start to buff again. That's been really, really helpful. Um, I guess it's the spit shine, technically. And then I use cold water from a bottle and I apply that to the toe cap, as you can see here. Um, but that uh, is just a normal mirror shine, but you're doing it uh, a day or two later. And I, I guess after a couple of days, the waxes settle and everything just, uh, you know, uh, calms down, I guess. I don't know how to, how, how to explain it, but um, when you come back to it, the shoe will, will be ready for an even higher gloss. And uh, I'm going to show you here that that's actually true. So as you can see in the background, that's my buddy. He came over and I told him, I'm, on, I'm shining shoes. So you can see him sitting in the background. So using your breath and waiting a day or two is really, really helpful. And it's been uh, something that I noticed after trying really hard. I, I can't even tell you how frustrated I've been shining for an hour or two and not getting any further and then coming back a day or two later and seeing a big difference. So uh, as always, you can come back the next day or a day or two later and you'll, leave, you'll get even better results. But for this pair, I just wanted to show you the difference. One day or one or two days waiting and then one more shine can do. And uh, you'll see a difference. It's not uh, huge, it's not massive, but it's enough where if you want to get your toe cap shinier, one day wait will help. Using ice water or really cold water has been really helpful as well. Um, it's something about that cold water that really uh, hardens uh, the wax in, in, the, in the polish and brings it up and makes it really, really shiny. So I found that out. Uh, I remember when I first started shining shoes, I would use hot water and it worked well enough, but cold water was really helpful. And as you can see, here's the before, how they were, and then here's the after. So they're definitely shinier, glossier, and more reflective. And uh, that's really uh, the best thing you can do is wait. So mirror shine your shoe, let it settle for a day or two, and then come back and start again, and you will see results. And uh, in today's quick tutorial, I hope that's, that's helpful. So if any of you are struggling, make sure to mirror shine and give it a rest. Come back to it, and you will see a definite improvement. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook at The Elegant Oxford. Links to my pages are in the description of this video. Remember, always put your best foot forward. The small details matter most, so don't forget to hashtag shine your shoes. See you next time.